cool when we talk about testing before going to testing it is always better to have this warm up exercise okay i am asking you a question what will you test in uh lift or also known as escalator i am asking you this question let us not go into the software for now what will you test in a lift or escalator you keep on telling i'll start typing over here okay okay one person says speed um uh, loading capacity okay uh buttons fan phone inside lift okay then door opening door closing yeah good going then um go to top from basement okay fine emergency stop okay what else but people are not giving any more answers fine again let us not go deep into this but i'll tell you what for what reason i am asking this question now i am asking you another question what will you test in atm machine good okay greeting menu okay insert card pin code validation what else right deposit transaction withdraw transaction print receipt then uh do more than one transaction okay what else how um, anything else oh yeah good right <laughs> get money <laughs> after withdrawing get the money and uh check card return yeah it should not swallow the card it should return the card to you that's good okay what else good lock the card good good change the pin using atm good good fine let me ask you another question what will you test in a mobile phone hey what is this this guy uh, from openmeter.net is he teaching software testing or something else take it from me testing is based on your analytical ability if you are able to split the tasks into various permutations and combinations testing is done right there unfortunately many people forget that every principle of software has been derived from basic mathematics and science so if you are good in that area in terms of analytical ability to break things out you are there so i am just tuning your mind to get feature by feature in everything and i am seeing whether you are able to do that exercise good what did you test in a mobile phone okay switch on and off good then make call receive call send sms receive sms okay delete sms forward sms open sms good speed dial add contact edit contact delete contact search contact or else good browse web then record sound then record video good then 
What else? Battery life. Okay, that's good. Then, what else? Right. It can go on and on and on. Right. So, we saw three things. Lift, ATM machine and uh, mobile phone. And again, you can take any other examples like uh, how will you test the fan, how will you test the mouse, how will you test the keyboard. Take any article, right? Do this fundamental warm-up exercise, okay? You can take a TV remote control or a mouse or a keyboard or a, let us take a fan or a air conditioner or car, bike, uh, fridge, anything. You can name any article, you can say, what will you test in that? Because in every article, if you see, at the back side, you could see something called a QZ, OK, or QA, OK, a seal, right? A sticker. So somebody tested it, and then they sent you, OK, this is a good item. That's why you have purchased it, right? Think of anything that you want to test in any article that you see. So, how will you test a thermometer? Yeah, it's good. How will you test a stethoscope? How will you test the BP machine? How will you test uh, a pen? Good, that's good. Yes, in fact, many people are... As a, as a mind tuning and mind warm-up exercise, take a piece of paper, start writing what will you test. One, two, three, four, five. This is the first exercise. When you are entering a software testing industry, it's better that you do that warm up. Right? Now, there is a structured way to test. Any article you take, you have to test it in five different angles. Okay? What are those angles? Number one, configuration. Configuration meaning parts. Okay. Is the part there? Is it there in the right place? Is it there in the right place? You have to test it first. You take a car. Is there a door? Is there a wheel? Is there an engine? Engine must be in the place where the engine is supposed to be. Steering wheel must be present in the place where it is supposed to be. Test the parts for their presence. Number two, security. That is very important. Because, especially the entry points, right? Um, before entering the car, is there a lock, right? Is there a child lock? Right? It's better to check the security because anything that you operate, whether it is software or hardware or an automobile thing, right? First, before even operating anything, you need to ensure security features are in place. If the security is missing, it may be a great thing, but it is, it is vulnerable for attacks. Third, functionality right so if you are taking a, especially on the point number two especially if you are on the lift right is there a security thing in terms of emergency phone right emergency exit right is there a fire alarm right is there a speaker that you can shout outside if, in case of any problems yes because those things should be present and they must be working before the lift is working Functionality that you know, okay. If I give the input, right? Input to output. This is a typical logic that you will apply. Then the fourth thing is called performance, okay. If you take the car, right? Uh, again, mileage, right? Then uh, pickup speed, right? Then uh, pulling power right then of course uh, smoke or emission 
then noise everything is related to performance because if i put five people it may make some noise if i put 10 people inside the car it may make some other noise check for performance five environment environment it's mainly for compatibility see if a car is manufactured for a hot country uh let us say a state in rajasthan uh, in india which is very hot you could see 48 degrees celsius in summer if i have a car there the same car cannot run in detroit at minus 45 degrees fahrenheit why is it because the way it is built the way the tires are built the way the brakes are built it suited for hot countries not for chill cold icy snowy areas it may not work properly right especially for cold regions you may need anti alloy abs or you may need something else special engines right so the the car may be the same but if you change the environment it may not work again the car may run great on the race course but it may not run on a normal road because the terrain is different right it may not some the jeeps are good towards again when i say jeep it's not the brand it is the the model in the way the vehicle has been formatted or say formed or framed it may be good in hilly regions but it may not be good for a race course so whenever you take an article ensure you test it in these five angles configuration security functionality performance and environment if you are able to test in these five areas it's well and good now do an exercise take any article right write at least two or three eight points towards each of this if you write three points in each that itself is 15 tests that you are doing on that particular product okay it's good this is the first and foremost exercise that any one must do when you are entering software testing industry good you will meet in the next session thank you